story to tell you. I have so many stories from okay. tonight. Number one, how did I get this out? <laughs> well, yep, that's Patricia Arquette hitting the red carpet in a Viking hat. It's one of the must-see moments from the Golden Globes after parties. E.T. was inside some of the most exclusive bashes of the night, and we're breaking down all the deets, starting with Patricia and that helmet at the FX Disney Hulu party. I'm a Viking, <laughs> in case you were wondering. Um, don't mess with me, <laughs> Vikings are dangerous. She dished about the style choice to E.T. and explained how she injured her The Act co-star Joey King with it. When we went backstage, they were taking pictures. They had all these props. And me and Joey were taking a picture together with this, and I picked this Viking hat. And I decided, well, I'm just gonna keep it with me. Now, while we're taking the pictures, Joey's behind me dancing around, and I go like this. She moves forward, bang, I bang her on the head. Now she's got this giant knot on her head. It's so Dee Dee. <laughs> I can't stand it. Like, I injured Joey tonight. <laughs> oh my God. It's horrible. And look, she looks like a butterfly or a moth or some kind of, um, I mean, incredibly beautiful. Billy Porter was at the same soiree looking fab in head to toe white, complete with a show stopping diamond Tiffany necklace. Diamonds are Billy's best friend. Come on! I need some diamonds, baby. What are the carrots on that? What's I don't know. And I'm not talking about that part. Okay. You I'm not talking about that part because I don't have an arm guard. I was going to ask. So, no. We're not talking about that. Yeah, he also revealed this um, interesting red carpet secret. What's a secret about the look? Maybe a red carpet secret we got the going secret on. secret about the look? Yes, any any special tricks that, that you... That my, my zipper is broke, <laughs> and it's been broke all night. Don't you all worry about it. I'm covering it up now. Are you standing strategically, or what are you doing? No, I'm doing this. <laughs> As you can see, I've been doing this all night. My zipper's broke. Then there was the Netflix after party where, get this guys, both Jennifer Aniston and Brad Pitt were in attendance. Okay, so we don't know if the two mingled at the party, but it was a big night for them. Both were nominated for awards, Brad for Best Supporting Actor in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood and Jen for Best Actress in The Morning Show. Of course, the two were married from 2000 to 2005 before they split, but have managed to stay friends. Yeah, friends. That's a straight up quote from Brad himself. Okay, the obsession, the world, the internet, everyone is waiting. They're hoping for this moment where you and Jennifer run into each other so they can take their picture. I, I'll run into Jen, she's a good friend. Yeah. Yeah, so they can, so. <laughs> you know, you know how this goes. The second, the second most important reunion of her, of, of, of her year. Yes, exactly. Yes, I understand. You know how that works. There's a play on friends, and then they were saying that, anyways. Cute. And while Brad and Jen may not have posed for the cameras, Jen did cozy up to Sandra Bullock for this epic party pic. Tiffany Haddish was also at the bash and got the crowd going behind the DJ booth with a drink in one hand and the mic in the other. Former co-stars Laura Dern and Ellen DeGeneres were also in attendance and celebrated their Globes honors together, posing for this sweet pic with Ellen's wife, Portia de Rossi. Then there was the in-style party where some serious TV cast reunions went down. Coach Taylor and Tammy forever! Yep, that's Friday Night Lights stars Kyle Chandler and Connie Britton. Connie also had a little fun with her American Horror Story co-star Dylan McDermott. There was also a One Tree Hill reunion in the elevator. That's Sophia Bush, Brian Greenberg, and Daniil Harris. But that's not all. Big Little Lies stars Zoe Kravitz and Shailene Woodley cozied up at the party too. Oh, and in an epic twinning moment, Zoe posed for this cute mama-daughter shot with her famous mom, Lisa Bonet. Hailey Bieber also attended the bash sans Justin, rocking a mini dress with black heels. And new mama Shay Mitchell looked absolutely gorge, posing with her pal Kat Graham. 
But she wasn't the only new mama out on the town Sunday night. E.T. caught up with Succession star Kieran Culkin at the HBO After Party, and he revealed the epic reason his wife Jazz missed his show-winning Globe Gold. You know our show one. That was. Did you see that? You I know? did. That was that was the thing. My wife was in the bathroom pumping breast milk when my category came up. So I'm there next to an empty chair going, she's pumping. <laughs> I, I actually really hope I don't win right now because I don't want, and then I didn't. I'm like, okay, sweet. And then it was our category and I was like, she's still not back. And then we and then won. won. I got on stage and the whole time I'm just like, is she still pumping? She got, she brought the hand pump, which just takes longer. So, you know. It was a lot. It was, it was a, a lot. lot. It, it was a lot. She got like over three ounces. Yeah. She, See? It, was, it was a lot of pumping. What a night! Ex run ins, reunions, and Viking hats, oh my. But I think the big takeaway is what would Patricia Arquette do? I feel great, and I know I look silly because I'm wearing a Viking hat, but we have to enjoy our lives. Okay, let's have some fun already. Of course, you can count on ET to bring you all the breaking news this awards season, so make sure to keep it locked right here. Until next time, I'm Hallie Stevens. Bye for now.